Congratulations. Right over nicely. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> thanks. thanks. Um, kind of take us through that last 200. There was like contact and. Yeah, I mean, uh, he tried to come in and I kind of just fought him off and didn't really give up my spot. So, uh, uh, bump his race and I guess, I don't know. I mean, uh, I just wasn't giving up my spot to him. So he couldn't, look like, you don't think he could have kept going in? You think he gave up or you, you held him off? I mean, if he would have came in, he would have came right in on top of me. So, I mean, I guess, I mean, that's where, I guess you have to ask him that. And how does it feel to be back on top? It's, it's good. I mean, uh, uh, getting back to where I was 2016, trying to get back to that. Um, form that focus I had, and so this is a really good step in the right direction. It really sets me up well for uh, the rest of the summer to get over to Europe and and uh, run fast and compete. It could tell that you were running with a lot of confidence. I look like you were in charge. Yeah. Um, before the race, I, I told a couple people like I can't sit still, I can't sit still, and that's like the first kind of edge I've had in a while. So uh, it's just fun to be out there again and, and competing. And um, there was seven good guys out there, and I knew I had to be on top of my game, and uh, I knew they were going to be. So it's just it's all about having fun today and, and getting that competitive competitive drive back. And last year you started the season so hot, and this year a bit slower. Was that intentional or? I mean, I just I had so much going on in the fall with injuries and coming back, and so took everything really methodical and. Uh, Leading up through obviously like April, May of last year, I had four years of healthy, healthy running uh, with Coach Abadi and such a build up. And so, um, when you go six months not being healthy and you can't do the normal training, it's a you can't do the same kind of like jump right into the season. So, a lot of building as far as mentally and physically getting back to uh, where I'm at now and where I want to be at the end of the season. What does your summer look like? Uh, I head over to race uh, Budapest and then uh, go to London and race Diamond League. Those are eight, you're going eight all summer? Or yeah, you... yeah, so it uh, looks like eight's the rest of the summer. So run Diamond League, come back home, uh, come back home to Portland, train for a little bit, and then uh, head back over for that last little part of the Diamond League. Is that just because that's how the Diamond League's yeah, there's scheduled? Kind of that, or is it... there's like kind of a big break um, into July, early August. Um, European chance. So, yeah, so like done the Diamond League's my last one over there for this stint, and then come back over and or come back home and then go back over for the end. Right, but I mean, choosing eight over 15 this summer, is that because that's just how the schedule works out? or is that I mean, it's just, I, I want to really compete at the end of the summer at uh, that London Diamond, or the 800 Diamond League Championship, so uh, you got to score enough points. So uh, I ran a couple fast 1500s, and I know where I'm at there, and uh, I really want to run fast in the eight this year, so a fast 15 doesn't really <laughs> translate, can't get the conversion or anything. Yeah, I mean, today going out in 54, what did you think of that? I mean, you almost set up like a like a tactical 1500. I mean, I knew it was slow, but I completely ignored the clock. I mean, it's a championship race, and uh, kind of the same attitude as it in Rio. I didn't care what we went out in, didn't care what the times were. I was racing the guys, and so that's the same thing I was today. It was just position, 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 race, race, race. And, uh, it could have been a 149 race, could have been a 142 race. It's for me all about was today is about winning. Do you feel like either type of race suits you? What was that? The fast and slow, both races you're fine with? I mean, I was prepared for it to be faster, so I mean, uh, in this kind of race, you have to be prepared for both. And uh, So uh, I've trained to, to go out hard, and I've been training to go out slow, so I'm going to be prepared for everything. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.